Nolan from k and Bassin back here with a, uh, another fly tying video. Uh, today we're going to be tying the green weenie. It's a really easy pattern to tie. It doesn't take a lot of materials. Um, I'm going to be tying it with a black. Uh, I'll show you in the image. A black 3.2 millimeter bead tungsten. Some chartreuse chenille. Uh, also, I'm using 8 uh uh, orange thread for this and the hook I'm using is a size 12 3761 um, and you could tie them in different sizes too this is just the one I'm tying uh, today so uh, I already put a thread base down on the hook um, small one so you want what you want to do is you're gonna wrap it all the way back to the uh, like right about the barb area so back here, stick it slow around the back so you don't cut any thread off, like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to grab your, actually no, you're going to wrap up first like this. And you're going to grab like a good strand of chenille, I didn't cut it yet, but you're going to grab a piece that's big enough to, for the fly. So I picked a piece about that big. Um, I'll wrap it in around the eye. So up here, tie it down. Try to keep it on top of it, of the shank. Just wrap it up a couple times and wrap it back to where I ended my thread base. Wrap it up. Make sure you get that, um, that thread down good. So what you're going to do now is you're going to make a little loop in the back. So it's going to look like that, kind of. But I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. You want to make it about the, the width or the gap between the shank of the hook and the point of the hook. So if you look right, so that's basically right there. So I'm going to make a little loop, probably about that big. That'll be about good. I'm going to wrap it back, the thread back here. I'm going to make my loop about that, that big. And I'm going to take and catch that chenille right there. So I'll make that little loop in the back. And then I'm going to wrap head a little bit. Try to cover up some of that. There we go. Wrap up to the top. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to take this and you're going to wrap it. So you can, I have, I'm going to use the rotary function on my, uh, my vise. And you're basically going to take it and you're going to wrap, try to get close wraps all the way up to the front of the, of the hook, just behind the bead. Right about there is good. You're going to take it and you're going to... catch it behind like that and then you're going to cut off that excess piece and you can always get once you uh, figure it out you can get the measurements down on exactly how much chenille you need to cut off and just wrap it down a little bit it's all right it's all right to have a little bit of that orange thread sticking out so once you get that down there's a general profile of it uh, it's a little bit rough at the bottom. That's okay, though. Um, I'm going to whip finish it. Try to make this a little bit uh, cleaner than my last tying video. I've actually never fished a green weenie, but I've been looking on some forums online, and it looks like, and I've heard, it's a pretty good fly in that stock trout like this a lot. So, hopefully I can catch some this spring on it. That'd be really nice. Um, so once I get the thread down, just to get nice and close. Let me see here. There we go. All right. And that's about it. Um, really easy uh, pattern to tie. Doesn't take much. Low materials. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or tips for a better video next time or flies to tie. I highly appreciate that. 
Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.